What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video I'm going to be comparing the specs of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom to the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Now the S4 Zoom has just been announced today and the S4 Mini was announced just a few weeks ago, not much between them and uh, Samsung have been announcing lots of new devices one after another, the S4 Mini, the S4 Active and now the S4 Zoom. The S4 Zoom is a sort of a hybrid between a smartphone and a compact camera and it looks quite similar to the S4 from the front it's only when you turn the device around where you notice that lens and that huge difference how different are these two devices though do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out in this head-to-head -head spec comparison so let's start off with size and dimensions the S4 zoom is slightly larger in terms of height and width 0.9 millimeters in height and 2.2 millimeters in width might not seem so much and front on these two devices don't look too different either the thickness is where the difference is 6.5 millimeters thicker the S4 zoom is compared to the S4 mini and also 101 grams heavier than the S4 mini the S4 zoom is almost double the weight very very heavy compared to the S4 mini so that compact sort of size if you want something to carry around you know something quite compact then the S4 zoom might be a bit problematic here screen size both have a 4.3 inch screen at the same resolution 960 by 540 256 ppi now, not the best resolution out there 720p would have been great on both of these in terms of the build up both have the polycarbonate plastic casing and uh, you've got white frost and a uh, black mist versions of for the s4 mini the s4 zoom currently just the white frost there may be a version later on but uh, currently it is just the white frost and you've got a physical shutter button so that's uh, quite different uh, for the camera you are going to want to use that you've got the lens at the back as well uh, which you can uh, zoom in and out so that's a clear physical difference there as well and you've also got a tripod mount at the bottom of the S4 zoom great to keep your camera steady if you're taking some of those creative shots looking at the processors of both of these the S4 mini 1.7 gigahertz dual core whereas the S4 zoom 1.5 gigahertz dual core so a slightly better processor on the S4 mini nothing major here RAM the S4 mini you've got a few different versions 1.5 gigabytes of RAM for the 3G version 2 gigabytes of RAM for the 4G LTE version and also a, a dual sim at a 3G version as well so we've got a few different options here the s4 zoom 1.5 uh, gigabytes uh, ram that's the standard version that you've got on there they've not specified if there's going to be different versions for 4g lte or 3g but uh, you've got 1.5 gigabytes of ram here internal memory now both of these have 8 gigabytes out of there it's going to be roughly about 5 gigabytes of available storage so quite low i would have liked to have seen uh, some more options here maybe a 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte version but you've only got 8 gigabyte versions on both of these both of these can be expanded with a uh, micro SD card though up to 64 gigabytes which is great cameras now this is where the clear differences are the s4 mini 8 megapixel camera whereas the s4 zoom 16 megapixel camera so you've got double the resolution not only that the s4 zoom has a much larger sensor as well a larger sensor in photography gives you a better low light performance and generally better images as well so the s4 zoom clearly there for that photographer as well as that you've got the 10 times optical zoom now this is great with optical zoom you can really get in close to a subject without losing any quality digital zoom it just makes the image larger in, in essence so uh, the optical zoom is going to be really useful there you've also got expert mode which is going to give you lots of manual settings aperture you know uh, shutter speed ISO all of these settings are going to be on the, the S4 zoom which is really great for that photography enthusiast and if you are really into taking your pictures that's going to be absolutely great now you've also got a Xenon flash on uh, the S4 zoom so that's great you're going to get a better quality flash again very similar to lots of compact cameras out there which is absolutely great now video both of these do 1080p video as well from the rear facing cameras front facing cameras 1.9 megapixel are pretty much identical really now they've not specified what the resolution for video is i expect it to be at least 720p hopefully 1080p but we'll have to see about that same operating system here as well a jelly bean 4.2.2 um, uh, TouchWiz UI now this is quite interesting both do have the IR blaster with the S4 mini there's been a bit of a difference because uh, some uh, websites have said that it does have air gestures and air view 
with screenshots, uh, some websites have said it does not have. Now we'll have to wait and see up until next week uh, on the Samsung launch event to see if the S4 Mini does have these features. The S4 Zoom does not have air view or air gestures. Uh, neither of these have smart pause or smart scroll either. So battery wise, the S4 Mini 1900 milliamp battery, whereas the S4 Zoom 2330 milliamp battery. So the S4 Zoom does have a larger battery. Now if you are gonna be using that camera with the flash, quite a bit then that battery is going to be needed but generally speaking uh, for the usage of the phones it's going to be quite similar in terms of usage but I believe they've uh, given a slightly larger battery on the S4 Zoom because of the camera capabilities. Now price wise they've not confirmed uh, specific prices for either of these but the S4 Mini I would expect it to be roughly about 300 to 350 pounds here in the UK or between 400 to 450 dollars in the US so that that's for the base version. Now the S4 Zoom, again, no specifics in terms of price, but I'd expect it to be slightly more because of that camera feature that's additional on the S4 Zoom. I'd expect it to be slightly more, probably around about the 400 pound mark here in the UK, or roughly about the $500 mark in the US. Now that's what I expect. The S4 Mini release date, they're saying July 2013. The S4 Zoom, no specific release dates. Um, you're looking at summer 2013 as well. Again, when these are confirmed, do look out in the description and I'll have the update details on there. So those were the key differences between these two devices. Quite similar generally for most of the aspects other than the fact that the S4 Zoom does have the camera capabilities. Now if you are somebody who's into your photography and wants uh, not to carry around a compact camera as well as your smartphone then the S4 Zoom is a great option. They've combined both of these into one device so for somebody like that it's going to be really really great. However if you are somebody who you know doesn't want the extra bulk and uh, doesn't mind the quality on the S4 mini for the camera then that's probably going to be a better option for you. What do you think anyway? Which one would you go for? Would you go for the S4 mini or the S4 zoom? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did please please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And Why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.